What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So a lot of people have been asking me how do I put the motivation quote on my wallpaper or in my setup when I do different setups. So I'm gonna show you guys step by step how I pull off this look. This isn't a part of the wallpaper, there is actually a widget there and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do this. So this is gonna be kind of, you know, a, a step-by-step -step guide and also kind of a motivation app review. I'll show, show you guys what the app is all about and how it works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this widget so that it is not there. And like I said, uh, this is kind of the method I use to get, you know, a cool looking quote on my wallpaper. Uh, you can do this, I believe, with, you know, a non, you know, static background, meaning this is a solid color background, which it's easiest to do it on. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's possible to use it on some crazy background that might have gradients and stuff like that. Um, but it's easiest when you're using a, you know, a solid colored background to match the colors and everything. So to get the motivation, uh, mo motivational quote, I'm using an app called Motivation. Now the app is very simple. It's literally just quotes, famous quotes. Um, it has its own kind of genres, I guess you could say. So you have your general section, your favorites is what I keep it on. Uh, you have different, you know, like I said, genres here, falling in love, uh, encouraging words, positive thinking, letting go, missing someone, uh, toxic relationship. There, there's a bunch of different um, different themes for these quotes here. Also, there's, you know, quotes from famous people. Like if you were to search Steve Jobs, it will pull up all the quotes that it has of Steve Jobs. As you can see, 41 quotes there containing Steve Jobs. So you can do searches like that. So maybe if there's a famous, you know, NBA basketball player that you like their quote or something, you can search it. And if it's available here, it will be listed under the search results. Um, but the app, you know, it's simple. I don't ever go in here just to look at a quote because I don't know, to me that's boring. But what I like to use it for is the widget uh, on my home screen. And that's how I had that motivational quote there on this home screen. And I also made it look invisible, meaning it didn't look like it was actually a widget. So how I do this is like so. So what I do to start is I take a screenshot of my home screen. And like I said, this is for the method of having a solid color background. If you have something that has like trees in it or something, this this part won't work because I'm just gonna look up the, uh, the color code of this background. So what I do is I go into another app called Aurora. I have done a full on uh, review of this app. It's basically just a color picker app. You can find more apps like this that are color picker apps for free from the app store so just search color picker but this is the one i like to use because i think that it's pretty sweet so i just choose the wallpaper i'm using and as you can see on a big blank spot on the wallpaper i can pinpoint what color i want to look at if i were to move this down to uh, this music icon as you can see i can see what color purples are in it or you know in the you know the the game boy icon i can look at that screen so uh, I just look at the background and then you select on it and you can see the hex code right there, which is hashtag 696969, which is kind of funny because when I created this wallpaper, I didn't even think about the color code. I just picked out a gray I liked and that, that's what it happened to be. So that's pretty cool. And it's also easy to remember. So now that you know your hex code of your wallpaper color, we can go back into motivation and start customizing the widgets. Now, if we click on our little kind of um, person icon in the lower right. I guess that's your profile kind of icon. Uh, you can see here are all the settings for the application. Now there's a bunch of stuff here. Uh, I don't wanna go too crazy with the application itself. Uh, just take note, it's a motivation app and you can see quotes, but in the widget section is where I have a lot of fun. So in the widget section, you can customize a bunch of different widgets and then use those obviously as widgets on your iPhone. Now I already have this one set up but I'm just gonna create a new one to show you how to do it from scratch. So custom number seven, what I'm gonna do is, uh, from here you can see how, how frequently do you want the quotes to refresh uh, and what type of quotes. So if you want to change it to just your favorites, you can do that and then how frequently are, is it gonna cycle through those quotes. Um, you can choose any of these. I'm gonna choose never because I'm gonna take this a step further. You guys will see here later in the video. 
So you just take note that those options are there. And now to customize this theme, we go to change theme. You can see there's a bunch of preloaded themes you can choose from with different backgrounds, different fonts, but I like to customize it myself. So we go to edit current theme. You can use a image as the background. You can choose a background color, the text, shadow, so on and so forth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to background and you have a grid, a spectrum, sliders, and then here you can choose your hex code manually. And that's what I like to do. So I'll change this from that to 69, 69, 69, just like so. And now it's going to be that exact gray that my wallpaper is. Now, as far as the text goes, I think I'm gonna leave it as white, but you can do the same thing. You have your grid spectrum sliders. You can input a custom hex code if needed. And then shadow, um, maybe I'll use a shadow. That might look kind of cool uh, with this. It'll be a little different than when I started so you can differ differentiate it. Oh no, I don't want text. I don't want text black. Can I choose the shadow color here? There we go. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. I don't I don't think there's any Oh, I see what's going on. So you can toggle it on and off uh, from clicking the button there. I've never really used the shadows much. Uh, so that was a learning experience, but we can also choose the font here and there's a bunch of different fonts to choose from. So I like that they give you all of those options as well. And I think I'll use one of the fonts I've already used before. Uh, we'll just use maybe this one here. And then we have the ability to align it, you know, left, center. Uh, so you can change the alignment. You can have it be capital letters or capital and lowercase. And then you can have your text size just like this. Maybe I'll make it a bigger size. We'll click save. And now when we back up, uh, it should be good to go. So now when we exit to the home screen, I'm gonna go ahead and add a motivation widget if I can click the plus button. And then we're gonna go down to motivation and add that widget to the home screen. So I'm just gonna choose custom add widget and I'm gonna slide it down. Hopefully get this widget to go up, it's a little wonky. So there we go. Now it's actually on the, <clears throat> it's on the widget that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. So I'm gonna change it from custom six to custom seven. And there you go, there's a little bit of a shadow with the text now and it's a little different. Now, <clears throat> I like to take this a step further, like I mentioned earlier, and I don't like the, the widget labels. That kind of bugs me. So um, in my setups that you guys have seen where I have a motivational quote with no motivation um, widget name, the way that I get rid of that is I choose one singular quote that I like, and I actually like this one. So we'll use this one just by taking a screenshot. And now I'm gonna use another application called Clear Spaces to make the the widget name invisible and i think that's what really confuses people so what i'm going to do is remove the widget there and i'm going to go ahead and click the plus button once again clear spaces is at the bottom i'll choose this sized widget which is going to look really weird right now i'll click done i'm going to go into the widget and i'm going to choose the new screenshot in which i just took and now i can exit and now what i need to do is edit the clear spaces widget so edit widget uh, position we're gonna choose as bottom. So it's gonna be on the bottom two. And there we go. Now we have the new quote that I just created in this video. There's no widget label. This is just a widget, but it looks like it's part of the background. And I think that's a really, you know, clean, simple way to add, you know, a quote to your wallpaper to make it look cool. Of course, you could leave the motivation widget there and not worry about the name. And it will cycle through different quotes, but I think that this makes it look super clean and it was something that people were asking me a lot about. So I figured I'd show you guys the process in which I create it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you learned something new, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.